Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So today in this session, we'll be discussing descriptive writing for IBPS PO mains and SBI PO mains. बहुत लोग request कर रहे थे मुझे इस video के लिए descriptive writing discuss करने के लिए. तो आज के इस session में, in this session today, at first we'll discuss how to write a good essay. Okay. उसके बाद after that we will discuss one essay that is on chat GPT ठीक है so today our topic will be chat GPT but उससे पहले हम लोग discuss करेंगे एक अच्छा essay कैसे लिखा जाता है okay so let's start the session but before that all of you must like the session must subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends ये चीज please कर देना ठीक है okay तो चलो start करते हैं the uh, now the topic is how to write a good essay एक अच्छा ऐसे कैसे लिखा जाता है for writing a good essay there are three parts okay your essay will be in three parts one is introduction the next is your main body and after that you have to write a conclusion okay now how to introduce a topic कैसे आप topic को introduce करोगे कुछ भी topic हो uh, be it anything how can you introduce it there are different ways of introducing a topic first way is you can define the topic okay say uh, you you have to write an essay on on uh, global warming okay so if you need if you have to write an essay on global warming at first you can define the topic define global warming okay you can give some famous quote कुछ फेमस कोट आप दे सकते हो वहाँ पे किसी के द्वारा बताया गया हुआ कुछ फेमस कोट अ कोट विच हैज बिन कॉइंड और विच हैज बिन टोल्ड बाय अ फेमस पर्सन यू कैन गिव दैट कोट ओके फॉर दैट यू नीड टू लर्न कोट्स ऑन सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक लर्न कोट ऑन वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट लर्न सम कोट ऑन पोवर्टी ऑन इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ओके तो ये सब जो मेन मेन टॉपिक्स होते हैं इसके ऊपर कोर्ट्स आप याद कर लो ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अनादर वे ऑफ स्टार्टिंग योर एसे द थर्ड वन इज स्टार्ट विथ सम फैक्ट्स हाउ कैन यू स्टार्ट विथ सम फैक्ट्स तो इसका क्या होता है एट फर्स्ट लाइक डिफाइन द टॉपिक उसके बाद स्टार्ट विथ फैक्ट्स ओके ग्लोबल वार्मिंग का फैक्ट्स क्या डाल सकते हो आप वॉट आर द फैक्ट्स दैट यू कैन गिव कि इस वक्त एट दिस मोमेंट एट दिस टाइम व्हाट इज द टेम्परेचर राइज अब द प्री इंडस्ट्रियल लेवल प्री इंडस्ट्रियल लेवल में कितना टेम्परेचर था उससे कितना राइज हुआ है ओके सो यू कैन गिव ऑल दीज फैक्ट्स ठीक है यू कैन आल्सो स्टार्ट विद अ स्टोरी सो दीज आर द फोर वेज ऑफ स्टार्टिंग एंड ऐसे नेक्स्ट इज द मेन बॉडी there are different ways in which you can write the main body if uh, there is a problem the topic concerns a problem like global warming global warming is a problem so you can define the problem and after that you can give a solution okay problem and solution method if you want to define the problem you have to talk about the problem the causes the implication that is the effect and then the solution in this way you can uh, structure your main body there is another approach called pestle approach in pestle approach at first you define the problem problem ko pehle define kar diya then you give the environmental impact of the problem e stands for environmental then the societal impact then te then the technological impact then the economical impact and uh, and at the at last the legal impact okay तो ये सारे आप इन सारे तो, आ, मतलब सब कुछ आप कवर एक एक चीज लेके आप कवर कर सकते हो उस टॉपिक के रिगार्डिंग यू कैन कवर ऑल दीज थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग द टॉपिक ओके एट फर्स्ट यू कैन यू हैव टू डिफाइन द प्रॉब्लम देन यू से व्हाट इज व्हाट आर द एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट्स और इम्पैक्ट्स व्हाट आर द सोसाइटल इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग से वी टॉक अबाउट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग देन वॉट आर द सोसाइटल इम्पैक्ट्स what are the technological impacts what are the economic uh, economic impacts and what are the legal impacts okay it is not necessary that you have to cover each and everything okay you don't need to cover all the things if you know if there are uh, if you feel that technological impacts are not suitable for this 
there are no technological impacts then just skip it no need of writing the technological impact okay so this is called a pestle approach next is positive and negative take a topic write down the positive effects or positive things about it and the negative things about it this is one more approach another approach is this one define the concept then the evolution like how it has evolved how it has developed then the application of it what are the practical applications now if you write on global warming you cannot use this approach okay ye wala approach nahi chalega we have used this approach in today's topic that is chat gpt okay what are the applications what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages and finally give the conclusion okay so this is how you can write a good essay now let's discuss today's topic which is chat gpt chat gpt ek bahut hi trending topic hai to aane ke chances hain there are chances you can see this topic in your examination so let's discuss it and let's see how i uh, we, how i have um, written this essay how i have structured it okay see to pehle kya kiya at first i have given an intro and this intro is a general intro a story based intro in the digital era artificial intelligence has become an integral part of our lives रेवोल्यूशनाइजिंग द वे वी इंटरेक्ट विथ टेक्नोलॉजी तो डिजिटल टाइम पे आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट बन चुका है हमारी जिंदगी में और ये चेंज कर रहे हैं रेवोल्यूशनाइज कर रहे हैं किस तरीके से हम टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ इंटरेक्ट कर रहे करते हैं अमंग द रिमार्केबल अचीवमेंट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ ए आई चैट जी पी टी स्टैंड एज अ शाइनिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इनोवेशन सो हियर आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस चैट जी पी टी ओके इन द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ आई हैव डिफाइंड चैट जी पी टी What is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a cutting-edge language model developed by AI. So, who has developed it? OpenAI has developed it. Okay. And what what is ChatGPT? It is a language model. Now, next, what are its uses? It it has a deep impact on which means applications. What are the applications of ChatGPT? It has a deep impact on customer support, content creation, and education. What does it do? it is trained to generate relevant responses to a wide range of user inputs which means users can ask questions and it can generate responses okay it can answer the questions it can understand and respond to written or spoken language in a conversational manner which means it can generate conversation with the user user ke sath baat cheet kar sakta hai making it suitable so what can be what can it be used for chat gpt ka use kya hai it is suitable for chatbots virtual assistants customer support applications and content generation so this is my introduction next here comes the main body this is the main body okay chat gpt has many capabilities now we are um, taking this approach advantages and disadvantages see concept it has been done evolution has not been covered application has been done now we will talk about the advantages its capabilities chat gpt has many capabilities including natural language understanding multilingual proficiency which means it it uh, it can understand many languages content creation providing learning assistance and many more okay it exhibits a remarkable ability to understand now we will take each of these and describe okay so the first one is natural language understanding it exhibits a remarkable ability to understand and interpret human language so insaan ke language ko samajh sakta hai interpret kar sakta hai it can understand and interpret human language it can respond to questions in a manner that closely resembles human conversation do log jis tarike se baat cheet karta hai usi tarike ka conversation chat gpt aapke sath kar sakta hai so it can um answer to your questions in a way two human beings interact with each other you will feel that you are interacting with a human being when you interact with chat gpt okay so the first one is done next is multilingual proficiency chat gpt supports multiple languages it can offer translation services enabling people from different linguistic backgrounds to communicate seamlessly 
which means uh, it knows japanese it knows german it knows hindi it knows english okay so it knows many languages now a person a, a, a person who knows english can interact with a person with a japanese person also using chat gpt because it offers translation services okay so multilingual proficiency is done next is content creation and providing learning assistance chat gpt can generate a wide range of content serving as a valuable tool for content creators and individuals looking for creative assistance chat gpt can write a story for you it can write a poem for you so it is it can provide a valuable tool for content creators so this one is the uh, this paragraph talks about the advantages next disadvantages this is also in the main body okay disadvantages despite the infinite capabilities that chat gpt possesses it puts forward some serious ethical and social concerns bahut sare advantages hain lekin kuch ethical and social concerns bhi hai chat gpt ko lekar what are the concerns these include the risk of generating misleading information so chat gpt can generate wrong information as well okay so suppose, suppose you ask a question and it generates a misleading information a misleading answer and this can lead to the spread of misinformation galat fake news spread ho sakta hai isse galat news fake uh, spread ho sakta hai chat gpt also poses a great risk of economic disruption economic disruption economic problem create kar sakta hai kaise the automation of certain tasks through chat gpt may disrupt traditional job roles and which may rise to the problem of unemployment now if chat gpt teaches you english then my job will be gone right i will be i will not be here to help you with english so in this way chat gpt can take up traditional roles and if chat gpt is used for customer service for customer support then the person working in call center as a customer support representative or executive that job will be gone because of chat gpt to chat gpt agar aise hi kaam karta raha uh, customer service ka role le liya teacher ka role le liya author ka role le liya to in sab ka naukri chala jayega understood inka kaam chala jayega so in this way chat gpt can give rise to the problem of unemployment so these are the con- uh, problems okay disadvantages next next is a is your conclusion this is the conclusion okay chat gpt is a milestone in the evolution of artificial intelligence offering a wide array of capabilities and applications that can benefit various sectors from customer service to education however it is important to approach its implementation with caution addressing the ethical concerns associated with misinformation privacy and economic disruption so what have i done in this conclusion in the conclusion i have covered both the advantages and the disadvantages i have taken a neutral stand okay so chat gpt has uh, many positive things but while using it while implementing it we should implement it with caution um, satark reh ke usko implement karna hai because there are some concerns related to it okay so this is how i have written an essay on chat gpt if you have if you have found this essay helpful if you feel that the essay is of good quality the essay is good then please like this video please uh, share the video with your friends and please write down in the comment box if you want more videos more lessons on descriptive writing i'm happy to help you thank you so much friends bye